Hey guys, we are about 50 miles north of Daytona, a little south of Jacksonville. We're going to do the, what was it, the third most popular ride in the state of Florida, according to MotorcycleRoads.com. And it's not a twisty road, it's just apparently really pretty. It's like maybe 30 mile ride. name of this ride and the name of the road is Scenic State Road 13. I think this is it. So far, it's a very, very straight road with trees, which are basically trees. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe the reason it's really popular is because there's just not a lot of traffic. So I tell you, riding on the freeways out here, man, Florida drivers are just a tragedy. Horrible. Love cutting off bikes, that's for sure. There's water over there, you just can't see it. Oh, there we go. Nice. With a nuclear power plant off in the distance. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's just steam coming from the top. Hey, look, a curve. Drop down to 52 because of the water, I guess. Definitely chillier. really cute around here tiny little houses and an RV some of the houses are gorgeous some of the houses are just scary looking like uh, you're riding through a neighborhood right out of the first season of True Detective <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever noticed but when I filmed that ride to Charlottesville and I rode through that kind of spooky looking area I said, I wonder if Buffalo Bill lives here. Put on the thumbnail. And for about 10 seconds, I played the music that Buffalo Bill played in Silence of the Lambs while he's dancing in the mirror. I'm sure you know the scene. Nobody has ever commented on that. Not that many people have watched the video to begin with, but you should check it out. I thought it was hilarious. And according to YouTube, you're all my age, so you should recognize the music. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice little ride so far. I really, anytime I'm riding by water, I love it. I don't know why, it's just, it's so cool. And uh, judging from people watching my videos, anytime I put up a thumbnail where you see water off to the side and you just see the corner of the bike, that always seems to get a favorable response. 
so I guess you guys feel the same way. It's a really ugly manatee mailbox. <laughs> well, we got a curve coming up. Looking at the GPS screen. This is the curve. Like one of two of them. <laughs> Gotta be some gators. Come on, gators. Let me just see one. Looking in the ditches, I don't see any. You get one of those big fatties crossing the street. That's what I want to see. Fifty degrees. I, I mean, I knew it was not going to be hot the whole time I was in this part of the state, but it's still disappointing to be in Florida and have it basically be the same temperature it is back home. No gators. Shoot. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but I mean, it's January, probably the coldest month of the year down here. Basically, the weather they're having in Florida now is like when on the national news there's an urgent report about the citrus crops in Florida freezing and dying. Like, that's now. <laughs> I think. Hey, look, got another curve. Big sweeper. You can really only tell looking at the GPS because honestly, it ain't much of a sweeper. Maybe it's a little much for this trailer, but. This is the third best. I mean, honestly, like it, it's nice riding along the water. I'll give you that, but I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. Would have expected something better. Like even from a scenery perspective, it's okay. Eh? Rudis. It looks like it's in great shape, but it's super rough and bumpy. Pretty water. I guess in hot weather, riding along this waterfront might just some cool breezes on this ride. Maybe that's why it's so popular. I didn't even look to check what water that is. Does it say on GPS? Can't see that. Can't even read it. John's River. Some of these houses are just gorgeous. Got about two miles to go. Now this ain't exciting at all. Well guys, that seems like it will just about do it for Florida's third most popular road. The uh, scenic State Road 13. It was nice, you know, it wasn't amazing. 
the ride itself, as far as, you know, a road for riding a motorcycle, was of no consequence, honestly. But, well, so, as I was saying, road was, you know, as far as riding a motorcycle, nothing exciting about that road. Some nice scenery, you know, riding along the water is always nice. Um, but if this is the third best road in the whole state of Florida, I mean, I wouldn't take it over any of the rides that I do back in the DMV, to be honest. You know, it's cool to have ridden a nice popular road in Florida, but I mean, I'd ride Nanjamoy every day of the week before I chose to do that one again. Um, but anyways, you know, we'll see how, uh, the first, second and fourth go. Uh, I am going to sign off here because I got a book back down to Orlando. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I put my uh, new content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell and you get an alert when my next video is out. And until next time, stay safe out there and I'll see you later.